Looney Tune to Patrick. Do you read me? Yeah, I hear you there, coon dog. Hey, listen, bud, I got company right now. I can't really chat with you. Why don't you head on over to YouTube and check out the latest update on the mountain bike? Ten four, good buddy. Well, Booney Coon, what a card. Well, thank you everybody for joining me today here on Patrick's Bushcraft. Um, as you may or may not know, I've been building up a mountain bike for camping. Uh, if you're a subscriber, you would know that. If you're a new visitor, thanks for stopping in and maybe consider subscribing. Um, basically, what I'm going to do today is just take you on a walk around the bike and uh, point out the things that I've changed, some things that I've added and subtracted. And uh, basically that's about it guys. Uh, thanks for joining and uh, hang in there. Okay, so the first thing you may notice is that uh, two of the water bottles are missing. The reason for that is I'm going into winter here and I just think I'm not gonna need to carry that many water bottles. I can either find it or just collect rainwater. Not only that, but uh, I heard there's supposed to be what the scientists are saying, the biggest El Nino we've ever seen this winter. So that means plenty of rain right there. Okay, right up here you can see that I added some padding on the crossbar that's for is so I can put the bike on my shoulder and carry it in case I want to climb up a hill. See another thing I did here was change to a little better tire. This is the Bont Rager Connection Trail. It's a very common tire. It's a good tire though. Another thing that I do too and I always have done is I run slime inserts inside the tire that has helped a lot and it's the best thing I've found so far uh, if any of you guys out there know of something that works better than those plastic slime liners please let me know okay I built a mud shroud like I said I would do in the previous in the previous video which you can see right here and this right here should help a lot as far as keeping mud from being thrown down on the top of that chain right there at that point. See I'll take you around to the back side here so you can see that. Inside there, I don't know, lighting may not be that good. I'll, I'll provide some pictures right here. All I did was took a piece of uh, fender well off of an automobile, plastic fender well, and I took a torch and I heated it and formed it to what I needed to go right over that tire there. As you can see, and uh, the thing I did was I ended it added a mount here for my little 4.7's mini quartz light. This thing kind of like will bounce off the bike to my pocket, to wherever it needs to be, to my head, to be used as a headlamp. Give you an idea of the size of that, that light. And of course, as you can see, I knocked down all the shine off the bike by 
painting some earth tones on it, aka camouflage. So, I mean, I went over everything that was shiny. Pretty much everything. There's one little spot right here, but I don't think uh, that's going to stand out to you, Ed. And there will be more pictures of that, too. And my Google Plus page, Instagram, of course my website. And basically that's about it. Oh, I turned the knife around. Not a big deal, but it's, it was turned around on the crossbar. Now I can pull it out a little easier and it gives me the room that I need in there to get my shoulder up under there. And. Uh, I've still got some things I want to do to it. Um, I've got some ideas for a gear carrying system of longer items such as a, a saw blade, it's like extra spokes, things that are longer uh, that I'm going to make to put up here up top. And uh, this bag right here. I think I'm going to be getting rid of that. It doesn't really fit into this and it's a little heavy. What you see right here as far as my gear goes, I have a backpack cover. That rain, or it's actually called a backpack rainfly. And it fits right on there. So that'll make it nice. That bag kind of gets won't go down over that bag right there so I'm gonna build something custom after working with this plastic fender well stuff I got some more ideas that I can uh, do here on this bike another thing too is I put fenders I got a the fenders I didn't make like I thought I was gonna have to I found a nice set off of another bike that I bought that just what I was looking for So here's a video of the other side with the bike turned around. Gonna let you look at things. There's that fender or that uh, mud splash guard that I made. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, I'm gonna have more pics and an infographic of the gear basic gear that I carry uh, I'll have the infographic and pics on my Google Plus page on Instagram and of course my website which is uh, WordPress Patrick's Bushcraft Over and out.